In this short presentation, we will familiarize you with the concept of the radiomics artificial intelligence for breast cancer treatment planning. Let us give you some basic concepts about the current diagnostic process for breast cancer. When you feel that there is something wrong with your breast, your first steps will direct you to the doctor's office. Your doctor will ask you some questions about the disease's symptoms. Then they will examine you, looking for a palpable breast mass and enlarged lymph nodes. After that, they will schedule some imaging diagnostic tests. They will include breast mammography, ultrasonography, and in some cases, magnetic resonance. Planning breast cancer treatment depends on the extent of the disease in the breast, lymph nodes, and organs that are critical for our lives, such as the lungs, liver, brain, and bones. Magnetic resonance is a very precise method of radiological breast examination. MR scanner acquires images of your body that are reviewed by the radiologist. Based on it, the radiologist is assessing the extent of the disease, such as the number of breast lumps and the portion of the breast that is involved. It is followed by an invasive breast biopsy. Several tests are done on your biopsy samples by the pathology department team. All the results will go to your doctor, who explain the findings, and together with you, will choose the best possible treatment plan. If you are interested in breast cancer and treatment planning, please refer to our other presentations. This decision process could be facilitated by modern tools and techniques. One of them is radiomics. Radiomics is an advanced image processing technology involving a string of processes that extract important information from standard medical images. This information might not be visible to doctors, but it is understandable to high-tech computers. Then it is translated to information meaningful for humans. These bits of information are called features, and they include various parameters of the radiological image. The purpose of radiomics artificial intelligence is to extract and analyze hidden imaging data that can be used for diagnosis, prediction of outcomes, and decision support in several health conditions. So, how is it done? There are specific radiomics development stages. It all starts with the collection of medical information and the standard radiological examinations, such as breast magnetic resonance. Then, images are prepared and processed in a way that radiomics tools will be able to locate and understand the information from them. Next, different types of radiomics features are extracted, such as shape features, texture features, or other more advanced and complex features. In practice, it simply means pressing start and waiting for the automatic computational analysis. When the list of features is ready, the data analyst has to initiate the process of feature selection. We are trying to narrow the list of hundreds of features to less than 10 features that are the most useful and have the biggest power. When it's done, then we have to make sure it all works, so we need to test and validate it. The final step of the process is the assessment of performance. It means that we need to measure how well the tool, built with selected image features, is performing in supporting doctors. Now, how can we apply it to help you and your doctor? The initial steps, including your visit to the radiology department, are just the same. Radiomics might be applied to the images acquired during the diagnostic process. Therefore, in the future, they might replace invasive breast biopsies and based on radiological images, give information on the cancer type. It might be supplemented with some suggestions on the best possible treatment, its sequence, and timing. It might also give information on the predicted response to treatment even before it started. Let's summarize. Radiomics artificial intelligence for breast cancer treatment planning means obtaining valuable and meaningful information from standard radiological images. In future, it will allow personalized therapy with a patient-tailored treatment strategy aiming at improved results of cancer treatment.